My name is Miriam Daly, and I am a famous chemist. I'm well known for being the first African-American woman to receive a PhD in chemistry in the United States. The place I was born in was Queens, New York, and I was born on April 16th, 1921. I grew up from a family who believed strongly in the power of education. My father, Ivan C. Daly, was a young man who enrolled at Cornell University to study chemistry. A lack of money blocked his path, unfortunately. Instead, returning to New York City, where he found his job as a postal clerk. My mother came from a family of readers and spent plenty of time reading to me when I was young. She fostered my love for books. Most of these books are centered around science and scientists. During my time, World War II was at its peak and employers were looking for women to fill the jobs left by scores of men who'd been sent overseas to fight. At Columbia University, I took to the lab, studying how the body's chemicals help digest food. I finished my doctorate unknowingly making history as the first female African-American to receive a PhD. In 1955, I returned to Columbia, working closely with Dr. Quid and B, deming on the causes of heart attacks. Our groundbreaking work, which was later relocated to the Albert Einstein College of Medicine at Yeshiva University in New York, disclosed the relationship between high cholesterol and clogged arteries. The work opened up a new understanding of how foods and diet can affect the health and heart of the circulatory system. In addition to my research and work on Einstein, I also taught biochemistry courses, recognizing the importance of my own career path. I championed efforts to get students of colored enrolled in medical schools and graduate science programs. In 1988, I started a scholarship in honor of my father for minority students who want to study science at Queens College. I later retired from Albert Einstein College in 1986. A few decades later, I died in New York, October 20th, 2003.